What's good, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. For the ones that are new, welcome to Nelly's Time and More. Like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good for Aries in November 2020. How you all doing, Aries and Cross Watchers? I hope everybody's doing well. I hope this month. Of November so far is treating you good you know let's start with your reading Aries what is good with you for the rest of November 2020 Aries what is good with you For the rest of the month of November 2020. Three more. Aries. What is good with you? For the rest of the month of November 2020. Aries, what is good with you for the rest of the month of November 2020? ¿Qué le pasa a los chihuahuas? ¿Qué le pasa a los chihuahuas? ¿Ah? No te gustó tu steak. No te gustó tu steak. Que tú querías baked potatoes. Pero a ti no te gustan los baked potatoes. Aries, what is good with you for the rest of the month of November 2020? You got, you got an extra card on this deck. Very nice. Aries, what is good with you for the rest of November 2020? What is good with you for the rest of the month of November 2020? Wait. <laughs> All of a sudden, it was getting mixed up with the cards. Aries, what is good with you for the rest of the month of November 2020? I Aries, you must need the message. It's one. It's funny because you have one card over there and one card over there. They're saying the same thing. Aries. What is good with you? Ah, Aries, I love it. I love it. For the month of November 2020. Yes. Yes. Give me one moment. Two hours later. Sorry about that, Aries. <clears throat> you have the Four of Pentacles. Then you have the temperance. Then you have justice. After that, you have the five of swords. <clears throat> then you have the four of cups. And last but not least, the star. What is this telling you? You're saving your money. Okay. 
there is something that you wanted to to buy but unfortunately unfortunately you have to um wait a little more time you thought it was gonna happen right away but you decided you're gonna wait more time you when when let's say you want to get a car but you're still deciding what type of car you want so you go into places and you check the you know different cars you'll be like you know I'm still not convinced. I'm still not convinced. I'm still not convinced. You know what I'm saying? Let me just, you know, I'm, I'm not just going to buy a car. I'm going to buy the car. You know, the car that I want to, you know, have at least for five to ten years. So it has to be the car, not just a car. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be a car, but, you know, it's an example. It could be a house. It could be a horse. I don't know. I don't know, Aries. I don't know, Aries. But it's, it's... You're saving your money. You're saving your money. You were hoping, you know, to to purchase that as soon as possible. But, you know, it, it didn't happen. So, I'm just... It's going to be here. Now let's go with Archangel Oracle cards. The first one is Compassion. And your message goes with the Archangel's Akil. And your message goes, soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. Then you have Take Back Your Power with Archangel Raziel. And your message goes, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest blessings in your life. Then you have chakra, chakra clearing. And you mess with Archangel Metatron. And your message goes, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geo geometric shapes. You know what this card makes me do? Don't you, Aries? You know it. You know it. <laughs> Okay. This is for Aries. Oh. Nope. It's gonna have to be this way. Aries. What is good with you? For the rest of the month of November, 2020. Aries. What is good with you? For the month of November, 2020. The rest of the month of November 2020. I know these are humongous for my little hands. So we have to shuffle them like that. Mm. Yes, yes. Let's get it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Aries. You have remembrance with number 38. And your message goes, the frequency of remembrance supports our memory of everything that we have gone through as a soul in body, providing us with 
providing us with valuable information and tools to follow gracefully with, with and in this life. Let's look for the card page. Okay. Try this. Take a moment to go inside and contemplate the idea that you have been around for a very long time and always will be. Are you aware of all the times and places you have been before? Do you have a notion of where are you going? Look intensely at the remembrance image and allow your Akasha to activate the memories of your soul energy. That's what he's saying. <laughs> you, you're gonna laugh for your next card. And last but not least, remember who you are with Archangel Michael. Tarot don't play. And your message goes, you are a powerful, loving, and creative child, creative child of God. You are very loved, Aries. Yes, you are. You are very loved. He's telling you to do past life regression. And remember who you are. Tarot don't play. You know, I get speechless. The more time I read, the more time I get speechless. Because, you know, tarot don't play. Plain simple. <clears throat> the first one is patience is its own reward. It's its own reward. And your message goes, you crown the year with a bountiful harvest. Even the hard pathways overflow with abundance. Then you have pure and unconditional love. And your message goes, speak to the earth and it will instruct you. Let the fish in the sea speak to you. Job 12, verses 8. And last but not least, blessings of innocence and purity. And your message goes, God bless those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Matthew Five verses eight. So it's telling you to be patient. Okay. It's telling you to be patient. It's telling you to take your power back. It's telling you life regression. That's gonna be a homework for you. Life regression. Um I don't do I um For one, I do my research. If I see a reincarnated God, I can recognize it. My soul can recognize it. I will tell you that right now. I have let some people know about it. Not directly, but you know. Some of my audience, I post it and you know, they, they get it. You know, 
some of them are part of my soul tribe. There is different soul tribes, but in my personal case, I didn't know that some of my soul tribe recognizes me. And I'm like, you know, you know what I am. You, you know what I carry? Like, for real? <laughs> because I don't really, I don't really talk about it. You know? I don't really talk about it. But I know some of what I carry. I don't know everything. I'm going to be honest with you. But I do know the most importantly one, ones, what I carry. And before I used to be scared of it because this is something unfamiliar. I didn't grow up, you know, knowing these things. I grew up in church. And all these things were demonized in that religion. But it's, not, it's, it's only demonic if you make it demonic. Like fire, you want to light a candle at night so it can give you light. But if you're going to open a gas stove and leave the gas like that and you turn on a candle and leave the house, that house is going to blow up. So you used fire for evil when others use fire to light up the candle and you know I know I hope you get my my what I'm trying to tell you anyways this was this was a very deep reading and you got homework to do Aries past life regression thank you thank you thank you my loves for stopping by like, share, and subscribe so all your friends can find out what is good for Aries for the rest of the month of November 2020. God bless you, my loves. I hope you have fun with your homework because you know something? It, great, it helps you greatly to know who you were in past lives. And what does your soul is carrying? It helps a great deal. It helps you understand yourself more. Because sometimes you, you have traits from your past lives. I'm going to be very honest with you. But, one, but most importantly, it's going to help you to understand yourself and you're going to get more clarity about what is your mission in this lifetime. Sometimes we have to um, correct mistakes that we made in other life. And you know what? Then you pass the test. Now, I don't know how that is. That, you know, sometimes you have a few lifetimes and sometimes people just have one lifetime and sometimes people just, this is their first lifetime. I'm still not familiar with that. But I remember, and this is from a Freemason, he said, we always come back. We always, always come back. Meaning you die and you come back. There's no way out. You always come back. Again, my love. Take care. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.